We want to end tonight with a pretty stunning announcement from NASA scientists who've spent a lifetime searching for other forms of life in the universe. For the last 24 hours, the Internet has been lit up with speculation that NASA might announce that E.T. had finally phoned home in some form or fashion. That is the stuff of movies, of course. But tonight, the real announcement, the real breakthrough, does sound a bit like a plot out of Hollywood. Our report from NBC's Lee Cowan. Maybe this is the way it will happen. A big NASA press conference before the world's media, waiting with bated breath to hear that life had been found on another planet. Thank you all for joining us today. That, however, was not today's big announcement. Instead... It is terrestrial life, but not life as we know it. That's terrestrial with a T, not extraterrestrial with an E-T. I'd like to introduce to you today the bacterium GFAJ-1. This is it. Not an alien, but a bacteria with an alien-like biochemistry found in the salty waters of Mono Lake in California. It's able to survive without one of the essential elements of life as we know it, phosphorus, replacing it in its DNA with its toxic cousin, arsenic. We've cracked open the door to what's possible for life elsewhere in the universe. And that's profound. It's turned the quest for alien life on its head, redefining how organisms may have evolved here on Earth and how they may exist somewhere else. You can replace phosphorus with arsenic and, and not kill yourself. It's quite striking. So then when we go to look for life on other worlds, we could maybe look in a different way. It's a discovery so radical that some scientists aren't quite sure whether to believe it. But then there's the other side who's expecting even more from today's announcement. All this hype over an earthly bacteria, they say. Whatever happened to finding water on Mars or life on one of Saturn's moons? Alien hunters are a pretty tough crowd to please. Super nerdy, not very awesome, wrote one blogger. So this is fake now, quipped another. The point, though, isn't that little green men weren't found. It's that little green men might be hiding where we've never even looked before. Maybe we'll be able to find E.T. now because we've got more information about what we might be looking for. If nothing else, today's news may have given Mono Lake a new slogan. Another reason to visit California, one blogger wrote. We have aliens, you don't. Lee Cowan, NBC News, Los Angeles.